Did you ask a question or just did you ask if we can ask about Bobby Firmino? <laughs> Could we start with just your, your emotion? It was emotional for him, was it, is it emotional for you? Definitely, definitely. So now his kids, I'm not sure. Maybe the eldest one is older than seven, probably. That means I know them all since they were babies. Um, that's kind of a crazy thing, same for Millie. So the two boys who came on obviously showed today immediately what we will miss. It's Millie's it's, it's mentality. I, I don't want to underestimate and, and, and really his, his football because he played really good football here and today again. But the way he comes in a game, oh my God, whoever will do that for us in the next few years, um, that is a high, high bar. Uh, because um, how many games he, he won for us in this way is insane. So that's one, and then Bobby comes on, plays top football, is between the lines and scores a fantastic goal. Um, wonderful story, wonder, wonder, well deserved the story. So this day was not an easy day for us, no excuse for anything. It just was not easy because we all love these this four boys. Um, it was clear somehow you have to prepare it a little bit, you prepare here and there a little, what is it, pictures, presents, this kind of thing, and then, but first, as a super important game. And this part of the day was the first half not great, I would say. And um, we were too much in a rush. We, uh, in both departments, with, with the ball, without the ball, our pressing was not good. It was, you could see we won, but it's just the timing was, wow, who is where? Um, and that was not helpful, so we played in their cards. They could had to have moments in the game, and they're a good football team, obviously. They scored their goal, they could get a penalty, they scored their goal. Um, it was clear in the second half, you have to calm down and just play, but increase the pressure, but calm down the red area. So, and that's what we did. And then you could see that the whole game was fast, but super intense as well. They were really done in the second half. There were grams here and there, and, and all these kind of things. So we could create our moments. We scored a goal which was disallowed, and um, I scored a goal which was allowed, and so it's a it's a it's a draw, and uh, that's okay, that's okay. I think the whole season is rather a season where I qualify for European League than for Champions League. It, we were too long, not good enough for ourselves. So, and I think we made it. Pretty exciting. Um, I didn't think that was possible seven weeks ago. The boys did really well in that period. I think our people enjoyed it as well. You could see today they are not angry with us. They are looking forward to a new Premier League season and a European League season. So do I. Um, I know we have still a game to play. Just um, and yeah, what well, the people did anyway. Like the, the mural for Bobby Firmino, I, I, I don't know when it was last time that touched. We, yesterday we, we drove to the stadium because we leave our cars here and then you pass that and it's not even, it's not finished yet. It was like in the middle of something and think, wow, how often these people do the right things in the right moment. It's absolutely insane. And it's a big, big guess and Bobby was really like that. And it's a big guess, I have to say, really big. James? Yeah, obviously the, the referee got told to look again with this around goal by Are you surprised he wasn't told to go to the monitor for the next challenge? I was. Yeah. Oh, I saw, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, I'm not sure you saw Cody. Yeah. But he looks like sponsored by a very uh, famous brand. It's like three massive. I didn't see it back. So it, it was the red card from your point of view. So then it's the question. <laughs> I cannot answer that question. I didn't. I was in, but I, um, I was probably too far away from that, um, and, and saw Cody only later. Then, when he showed it to me, that, that you cannot do that without um, making a proper foul. Um, 
I asked the ref why the offside goal was an offside goal, because offside situations um, I think should be kind of clear, but he explained it to me, this, uh, this is a subjective decision. He thinks it is a not deliberate action from a defender. I think it is, and I think the VAR was not sure, so he may, maybe thought it's possible. But in the end, subject, subjective decisions, um, you know, how can you argue about that? <laughs> he made it and that's it. You know, what about the Eddie Martinez time wasting? It's your seventh yellow card this season, time wasting. Is, is, is that a problem for to look at? Look, it's really difficult. So I spoke already to your t television colleagues, and it's, it's just, I think it's an important thing to talk about. Just, I'm a bit afraid that you make, again, not the best of it. Honestly, because it's then Klopp said, Klopp said. I think the, the, the problem is, is obvious. We watched last week, I watched last week a lot of football, or tried to. Because it was um, when you saw Sevilla against Juventus, two one up, ball boys gone. Wow. Then Rome against Leverkusen against Rome. The, the Leverkusen players were really, like, but we say that's smart, that's it's allowed, and do it like that, and it's fine. Um, I think the whole season we saw it in general a bit too often. It's not always time wasting. It's very often a rhythm break as well. Just when, it, when your opponent is really going for it and all of a sudden a player goes down and you scratch your head, what idea? So I think today it was obvious 10 minutes is okay. She just had the feeling that in these 10 minutes it would have been worth another five. Uh, and that's a, bit, that's a bit a problem. Again, it has nothing to do any now with the result today or, or in general our season and these kind of things. But there must, it would be cool if we could talk about that as well. Um, that's it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. See you. Sorry.